Dead spider. Now here comes his friend. And his other friend. You know, there, there's usually thousands of them. Surely there won't be any more. Oh, that was the artillery. <laughs> Man, they really need to, like, warn... How is this terminal running? The terminal is finally up and running. Hopefully the Elder doesn't mind us stealing this thing. Who am I kidding? Of course he does. Me and Anna didn't plan on staying here long, but we've reconsidered. Sandlot isn't a big town, but it's nice and quiet and far away from the suffocation of brotherhood life. Our new neighbors are giving us weird looks, but these aren't the kinds of people to ask personal questions. As long as we keep our heads down and don't cause any trouble, we should be fine. Ooh, brotherhood exiles, perhaps? Man, is just everybody out here in exile? We left the Brotherhood because they wanted to force us into having children. So it's a kind of ironic that I'm holding my son in my arms as I type this. Anna's sleeping right now, taking a rest. After everything that happened today, she more than deserves it. Little Johan is going to ask questions. He's going to want to know where he came from, and why we have so much old world tech around the house. He can never know the truth. He can never want to be us, or rather, who we used to be. We both left the Brotherhood for a good reason, and that was because they wanted us to have kids, and we didn't want to, and then we left and had a kid. Yeah, but of our own accord! And not just because of the whole eugenics thing. What? I don't want Johan to be trapped in some bunker, wasting his life following the orders of some geezer who's afraid of the world and of people doing anything not explicitly allowed by the Codex. He deserves better than that. Damn straight! This used to be your terminal, Brad. I suppose it's the closest thing I have to talking to you. I tried, Brad Ellipses. I really did. Aww. But after you died, Johan had so many questions. He wanted to know so much. So I told him. I knew he would idolize the Brotherhood, but I didn't think he'd leave. I guess it was inevitable, though, huh, Brad? Ellipses? Question mark? The bird always has to leave the nest, sometimes in less than ideal circumstances, and we have to let them go. That's the deal we made when we became parents. I don't know where Johan is now or what he's doing. I just hope that whatever happens, he's happy. I miss you, Brad. I told you I'm joining the Brotherhood, Mom! An oh, sorry, that was Anna Alomar. I probably should have re realized that before I did it in a man's voice. Former Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. You're reading this, Mom, that I'm gone. I wanted to tell you about this. I really did. But I knew you would try to stop me. You told me about my heritage, about the Brotherhood of Steel, and how you ran away. But I can't stay away. Not now. The Brotherhood is at war with the NCR, so I'm going south to join the war effort. To be with my people! Of course. I don't think we'll see each other again, Mom, but I want you to know that I hate you! And I'll always hate you! Your son, John Reynolds. What a little shit. Yo, I got your message at exploding holotape. Might have fooled the average person, but not me. I may have never officially been part of the Brotherhood. Oh, uh, but my parents still told me a <laughs> thing or two! I get it! You want me gone! You think I'm some sort of aberrant for joining the NCR? A aberration! Words, but you don't seem to know who you are dealing with. I'm a major in the- Oh, this, uh, not Johan? I'm a major in the NCR army, the greatest army on earth. And if I get hurt, you can sure as hell bet that Blackwater will come looking for you. No, Bla Blackthorn. It's not, the, it's not the paramilitary organization. It's Blackthorn. Don't forget who protected you from the NCR and Brock. Don't forget who helped evacuate that outpost when Blackthorn first came knocking. Don't forget that I can just say a word to have you and your men dead. Take this as a warning, Ravi. Oh, and don't send me any more messages, even if they're legitimate. I won't respond. Sincerely, Major Johan Reynolds, the guy who apparently decided to defect from the Brotherhood and join the NCR what? army. Wait, what? <laughs> well, okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm done with this. Johan was pissed that his parents left the Brotherhood and then joined the Brotherhood? Maybe I'm just stupid. Uh, maybe he is just stupid. Maybe he's just stupid. Maybe, so, maybe he lied to his... Why is it all written down on the same terminal? Though? Yeah, why is it all on the same terminal? What are they just... The, all right, well, let's go all the way to Nevada. Ah, oh, man, I need to update my journal. Better go back all the way up to wherever we are now to update the... Fr oh, my God. I found a note. You gotta try this shit. Bomb drops. Ground zero. Rob, Tammy is a goddamn genius. She dared us to put a box of bomb drops in an H-bomb and shake the shit out of it, then drink it straight down. I got so high, put even the best jet to same. You have to try it, man. I know your mom is a bitch about some H-bomb, so I'll steal some from that one-eyed bitch in the PX. She will never even know it's missing. Just meet up at the usual spot and we'll mix some up. Tammy calls it Mega Blast, but Dave thought that was dumb, so we call it Ground Zero. Because your mind just got... Blasted to smithereens. It's not very good, but you know, whatever. He muttered something about lizard people, but I think he was high. 
Don't be a pussy like last time. Jess is gonna come and you know what she likes to do when she gets high. Incentives, man. She likes to give us tax advice, which is very useful. It is. Tax advice is incredibly useful. H-bomb energy drink, empty jet inhaler. So, yeah, this is a place where local kids were coming and just getting wasted. Super wasted. Science for all. Gonna get wasted at the learning annex. Yeah! Ooh! Where'd you get that 1903 A3? Is that covered in barbed wire? No, it's covered in burlap. It's like covered in burlap to help it, you know, blend in and also some zip ties to hold it. Blend in with the snow? That was the only time we'll ever see it. Why is there a dead body? It would probably be not to best not to disturb the scene. What is this, an active crime scene? <laughs> I guess. When have we ever run across an active crime scene? Just now, keep moving. Oh yeah, it'd be best not to disturb the scene. Boy, it sure would be a shame if... Whoa. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. Oh, I didn't even know you were there. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Hey there. <laughs> uh, who are you? Ah, oh, shit. I went and forgot my manners, didn't I? I'm Lot Linden, at your service. Like, after the, the guy in the Bible lot? Is, like, everything terrible with you all the time? Is your wife turned into salt? No, that wasn't Lot. That was the guy in Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot. No, Lot was the guy... Oh, yeah, that that's right. That was Lot. <laughs> Don't quote Bible to me! I studied long time! No, I was thinking of Job. I Sorry, I completely forgot to mention this earlier. One of the guys that was running around told me that those tanks are M4 Shermans, not M3s. Right. And then he explained to me at great length about the differences between the two tanks and how I was very wrong. So, sometimes people make simple mistakes. Yeah, we do. We make simple mistakes. And after hour three of him explaining the many differences between an M3 and an M4, I did have to cave his head in with a book. It's not your joke to be right all the time. Ah. That's your lot in life. Ay. That's such a bad joke, Mike. <laughs> Why is everyone dead? You see, that's exactly what I was wondering. I have to go on a piss break, come back, and everyone up and died on me. Okay. And there's my sister, who's just flat out missing. Nobody, no nothing. It's like I went and pissed out a big old mystery. Hey, you seem pretty capable. Think you can help me figure out what the hell's going on here? We okay. don't even know who the hell you are. You're, you're not very distraught if these are your family members. Yeah. But sure, I guess we'll help you. I, I looked around already, but I didn't find shit. Maybe you'll have better luck than me, though. I'll just sit here and give you motivational support until you find something worth talking about. Well, now I'm regarding shooting that man in the head. Because it's going to make this crime scene a lot more difficult to investigate. <laughs> Cause of death, question mark. All right, let's see. The corpse is riddled with bullet holes, primarily in the upper torso and left arm and leg. These are from a different caliber than the ones you fired into their head. Oh, thank God. They're cold to the touch, probably because it's outside. Investigate further. You can't. Your medicine isn't good enough. What do you mean my medicine isn't good enough? I'm a doctor. Have to look for different clues. Mm, the Brahmin seems to have been shot twice. One bullet through each head. Besides that, it looks skinny and malnourished. I will investigate further. What do you find? Well, it's only carrying the bare essential supplies. Uh, a couple stim packs, doctor's bag, and a little bit of food and a couple bottles of water. So nothing a traveling merchant would be carrying? No, it's just a basic pack, Brahmin. Hmm. Rest easy, girl. There's a blood trail over here. All right, well, she was shot in the chest near her heart. Looks like she was used to a life in the wasteland. Arms and legs are cold, but upper body's still warm, and she's got a grin on her face. Posthumous grin? I don't know. I, I'm not sure. Let me search. I found a note that talks about the attack on Lot's caravan, as well as the location of the attacker's camp. Oh. Uh -huh. So she was probably a raider. That's my guess. Ethan's been following Lot for the past week. It's about to get to the point where we don't act immediately. We'll lose him for good. Meet us at the usual spot in the cave near the old fart saloon. We'll get the jump on him as soon as we have the chance. And then they didn't actually kill Lot. Did you turn anything up yet? Uh, the note says the attackers were camped out by the old farts saloon. Huh. I might actually know where that's at. Where? Come on, let's get going. All right, fine, let's go. Ha! Huh. I'm not the one you should be worrying about. All right, so we're going places with Lot. Okay, new companion. What is it? Go! You're supp we're supposed to be following you. Why are you so down? I like companions a lot. 
<laughs> I, if I didn't have only 24 bullets, I would murder you right now. You know? Oh, wait. I do have something. One, two, three, four. Zach declared a pan war. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what? Where is it? So, are you just going to stare at me or? I'll stop staring when you tell me where the damn saloon is. What's up? Where is this saloon? Oh, yeah, my bad. Just head north of that church on the hill over there. If you're going to be traveling with us, even for a brief while... Ugh, I know what's coming. I want to know what your combat strengths are. Uh-oh. I want you to be aggressive. You seem very sheepish. Ooh, getting feisty today, are we? Consider it done. Okay, I expect to see blood everywhere. All right, I'll be right behind you. I'm I'm very glad that we couldn't ask him about his opinions of the different factions. <laughs> but what is his opinion of the Legion? I must know. Truth be told, I don't really know much about them, other than the fact that they have way too much pride in wearing skirts. What's under your fucking culture shut hats? Look, it's a bunny rabbit! Oh, that's adorable. Looks like we're getting some dinner tonight. No! You are not gonna hurt this bunny rabbit or I will shoot you down! Well, I guess eating good isn't high on your priorities list. No, it isn't. I don't ever need to eat. Bunny! Hop, 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 hop. It's so cute! Fine, let's move on. Why can't you just let. Uh, hello? <laughs> the hell is the. <laughs> um. Uh, this is haunted. Let's go, let's yeah, go. Okay, okay. <laughs> A little pit stop on our way north. What's up, Jesus? Long time no see. Oh, what's up, Jesus? Oh. <laughs> Long time no see. Oh, he's talking to the statue. I think he was. Ooh, there's a cellar door. What's in the church's basement? A bunch of whiskey bottles. A single shotgun. I hope someone doesn't come down here while we're... Hmm, that is a mutilated arm. There is no end to the bounty in which God has offered down to me. A term that had once been the constant in my thoughts as I lay in this town, seeing it every day, was once full of hope in my soul. For once, I true He says once a lot. I felt that I was truly doing the Lord's work and helping the people. Now the town has fell in fallen to the demons and shadows, and once again- I Again- and again, I am alone. It was by sheer luck that the demons never, never found once found me in my resting place. And when they left, taking the bounty of our town once with them, there was nothing left but once smoke and smoke and once ashes. It has been a long time since I've written once in a journal to keep my thoughts in check. Now I find that there is nothing to do but write once, so that is what I shall do. Give me the short version. Anything important in here? The Lord has abandoned me yet. I found enough supplies to keep me going at least for now. Entry to... Once again... <laughs> Once, once, once! Entry three. These are the end of days. The demons have returned again and this time spotted me. A demon chased me into a house and I managed to remove his head from his body once. Ramblings of a madman. Fool! Why are you pointing at me? Ah! <laughs> okay. He's a mute. He's a mute. He's getting aggressive. All right. Good job. All right, then. I will take that gun. Wow. What the hell was that about? Not sure, but it's dealt with. Okay, then. Let's continue on, shall we? Portland! Do you think the NCR is going to get mad at me that I've been shirking my duties? Well, they told us to report to a corporal, and they obviously don't know. We're the legendary couriers. And also, I don't report to corporals because it's not a real rank. If they don't like it, they can send a messenger to come get us. Yeah. Or a courier. <laughs> ah! Oh, ghouls! Ghouls! They're not oh. moving like ghouls. No, these seem more like actual zombies. Oh, they're probably Wendigos then. Shoot him in the head! <laughs> if you don't shoot him in the head, they don't die. Oh, God. Yeah, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> or I could have just done that this whole time. Alright! Mm, 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 mm. Uh, hey, how's it going, buddy? Oh, you having problems with this Wendigo? Here, I'll show you my trick. Is that all you got? You impressed? You should be. Well, that's a lot! 
<laughs> Trying to impress our companion. God. Ah, oh, they turned an old train station into a saloon, maybe? Oh, it'd be a good use of an old train station, in my opinion. The Whoa! The hell was that? Ah! <laughs> well, maybe we weren't supposed to be in there. <laughs> Perhaps not. Uh, Steve. Who the hell is Steven Strang? Oh, well, he's definitely dead. Lot, where the hell are we going? Something on your mind? Where are we going? Well, you remember that church near the well you found me at? The saloon's just north of that. Actually, here. I'll mark it on your pit boy. Oh, that'll make things simpler. Oh, yeah, that's that's great. That would have been. Okay, thank you, thank you, Lot. I we must go now. Ooh. Uh, Steven Strang drank himself stupid on H-bomb, uh, energy drinks. I'm gonna assume that's what those are. To the saloon, to the saloon, to ah. the saloon, there's a big horner there. This looks like a ah, small little- It's been a while. Come on, the owner's a friend of mine. Let's go see if he can help us. Uh, no, look how cute this shaggy big horner is. Ah, uh, but Zach, this guy can get us free drinks. No, it's so cute. Just because he knows the owner does not mean he can get us free drinks. That was implied. It's a shaggy big horner. Yeah, it's cute. Oh, I wonder if I can ride them. Hey there, Johnny. Long time no see. Hey, kid. Wasn't sure if you were still kicking. How are you and the little sis doing nowadays? Actually, that's what I'm here about. We ran into some trouble, and I was hoping you could help. My friend here has the details. Oh? Let's hear it then. Uh, okay. Well, a friend of Lot's is a friend of mine. What can old Fart do for you today? Lot's caravan was attacked, and his sister was kidnapped! And he is surprisingly nonchalant about the whole thing. My god. I'll help in any way I can. You spotted any suspicious people in the area? Maybe seen anyone camped out? Didn't see anyone myself, but a few folks passed by saying they saw some strange people up near Dead Wolf Cave. If you're trying to look for their camp, I'd suggest you start looking there. It's just north of that big old hill over there. All right, well, we'll check that out. All right, but you and Lot be careful now, you hear? And if you ever find yourself in any trouble, you'll always be welcome back here, kid. Good luck. What a friendly guy. Uh, I would like information. How do you fend off raids? Yeah, we don't really get much trouble around here. Usually some idiot tries to rob the place, then gets gunned down before he can put out his last word. <laughs> All right, what's your story? Huh, what's my story, you say? Hell, take a good hard look at me. I am a story. <laughs> nah, I'm just messing with you. I'm just an old drifter trying to find his place in the world. Opened this bar about... God, what was it? Nearly a hundred years ago. Cool. Well, however long it was, I've been here ever since. Okay, we should get going. Try and find this guy's sister. Time might be of the essence. Maybe. That guy's probably got a story too. Beep boop. Uh, <laughs> domo arigato, Miss Robato. Secret, secret. I've got a secret. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. <laughs> what do you need? What? Uh, that's a nice eye bot you got there. Thanks. I made it myself. He's a lot more power efficient since that guy messed with them. Oh. I never got his you name. Have an actual but iPod. he had an iPod of his own and he loved to talk about the past. Oh I'm god. I'm sure he kept talking even when I was asleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, gee, I wonder who that could have been. What's up with the robot gag? It helps attract customers for one, and it's fun to do. There aren't many people who know about tech in Portland, so I can be intimidating to some. Humor helps. So uh what's your story? I grew up outside of the city in the forest. One day, an iPod malfunctioned and landed in front of our house. I took it apart, put it back together, and just did that over and over again until I knew everything there was about robots. And if you're good at something, you make caps too on it. So that's what I'm doing. Beep, beep, boop, boop, beep, beep, wee. That means, what is your name? Oh, that. It's the serial number for my first iBot. My real name is Vitalia. That XBZ 8756 is a lot more memorable. It's more memorable, but it's harder to say quickly. All right, well, we'll see you later. Goodbye, execute. I had a uh, small suspicion she might have tried to attack us there. No, she was just saying, like, execute. I know. Oh, this is the destroyed iBot that uh, she had. I see. What is, wh what is going on? I thought you said this place doesn't get raided. 
It's getting raided right now. What the? F oh no! One. Oh, just kill all your your Brahmin. I'm I'm distraught. I can't even shoot. Shaggy Big Hoarder is Shaggy Big Dead. <laughs> I'm I'm so deeply set. What in the? F the hell is that thing, man? Yeah, you're gonna fight off Wendigos with that. I'm so deeply saddened by this. Well, now we need a supply line for this place. Oh, and also this guy's dead. Oh, yeah, you totally could have done something, Mr. Enclave. Stop right there. Uh huh. You look like someone who's ready and willing to serve their country. <laughs> yeah. The Enclave could use someone like you. <laughs> yeah, no thanks. <laughs> See, I'm a recruiter, thus the uniform. Yeah? I can take you to our base. I'll just need you to hand over all your weapons before we go. Sure, please, do enlighten me, Mr. Recruiter, as to why I'd want to join a paramilitary organization that is objectively evil. Also, I'm already in a different military. It's not about that. It's about community, history, patriotism, slaughter, and our God-given mission to restore America in all its former glory. And ethnic cleansing! You also get to wear really cool armor and shoot laser guns. Pew pew. Pew pew. Why do you need my weapons? Well... We can't have you firing out those weapons when we get to base. So the Enclave is just recruiting people off the streets. Well, after the oil rig blew up, we've had to lower our standards a bit. <laughs> Besides, you look like you've been in a few fights. A, a fair few, yeah. That's a real Enclave uniform, huh? <laughs> I'll have you know that this uniform is 100% American. You're a bad man. By your measure, maybe. But we aren't doing this for you. We're doing this for America. Let's humor him and give him all of our guns. No. <laughs> okay. I didn't think it was a good idea either. <laughs> no. Well, I didn't think you hated America, but I guess looks can be deceiving. The Enclave will endure with or without you. All right. You have fun. I do hate America. And also the Enclave. Well, well that's that. <laughs> yeah. They actually animated, like, steam coming out of the mask. Neat. That's pretty cool. Ooh, maybe up that tree. Yeah, that looks right. Ooh, it looks precarious. It is very precarious, believe it or not. Yeah, if you slip, you're going to land on one of those spikes, do some damage. Yeah, I'm really trying not to. It's really hard to climb this thing. <laughs> really? <laughs> I could have just taken that pet. Ah! I got sap all over my fingers. It's never gonna come out, no matter how how hard I wash it. Honey, I'm home. Honey? What? Hmm. <clears throat> Guess nobody's here. <laughs> all right. Why are you saying, "Honey, I'm home"? He's making references. It's fun. I guess we're looking for his sister, though, so that's weird. <laughs> Damn it, looks like we just missed them. <sighs> Let's look around, see if we can find anything. <sighs> what a waste. The Brahma is charred, still tender, only slightly cooked. Hmm. Must have left in a hurry. Hey, I think I recognize those cigarettes you just picked up. Is there something special about them? I know a guy named Danny who has a little side business making cigarettes that look just like those. What does he make them Let's out of? Let's go try talking to him. He might know something we don't. Uh, what? That seems like a bit of a stretch, but okay. Hey, it's not like we got anything else to follow up on. I haven't finished just looking. Just follow the train tracks outside the cave south. You'll run into his shop eventually. Alright, we'll go south. So what's your real deal? I was a milkman for like a week, but they went and fired me for losing all my deliveries. You of course, I didn't lose shit. I just kept it for myself. I fucking love milk. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me and my sister grew up pretty damn far south of here in the NCR. Parents died when we were pretty young, so me and my sister ended up living on the streets. Yes, you mentioned your sister. She really exists, huh? Five foot six, black hair, resting bitch face. A minute younger than me. Named Sarah. Boom. Bam. Done. Oh, twin sister. Okay. I'm just gonna keep walking and pretend that what I'm hearing isn't happening. Oh, it's- OW! Oh my god! Alright, now it's my problem. 
These Wendigos are fighting back! What the hell is that thing? Ramshackle sniper! Uh, the- <laughs> Okay, that's great! <laughs> that is an amazing scope. What, what, what caliber does it use? 308. Uh, we don't have a lot of those. Alright, so what was the- There's the scouting laser rifle, which we just found a little while ago. Uh, uh, Why are all the guns so big in this mod? That's gross. Who would use a weapon like that? It's, it's blocking your, your view. Yeah, I actually can't see anything when I have this equipped. That's garbage. Throw it away. Uh, old lady. Ooh! Ooh! Is that a BB gun? A 22? What caliber is this? 5.56? It's a silent 5.56 bolt action! Wow, I would not have guessed that. Wow! Also, it has an M14 rear sight, which is a little odd, but okay. It, I'm... Oh, oh, what the fuck are those? What in the hell are those things? What is that? They look like stegosai. Tentacle-faced stegosai. Uh... Ooh, let's fucking do this. Okay, guess we're bringing the fight to them. And they're, they're shooting spit at us. What in the hell is this? It's disgusting and yet kind of cute. It's a weird new mutant with a squid face. Ugh, it's all sticky. Ugh. Ugh, let's keep following the train tracks. Let's ignore these things. Mm-hmm. Ooh, finally. I was starting to lose feeling in my legs. Come on, let's get inside before we freeze to death. I'm here to protect the store from bandits, not talk to snotty customers. Man, I wish I could talk to people like that at work. Ugh, I forgot how much of a shithole this place is. It's like a baby deathcloth grew up all over the place. You... Well, regardless, let's try to play it cool. Danny is easily angered, and I don't want my balls getting chopped off today. Okay? She's just sitting right there like, I just cleaned in here. <laughs> How fucking dare you. Welcome, welcome! Is that a Benelli M3? take a look around my wonderful shop and let me know if there's anything that catches your fancy, friend. Uh, there's a lot of things right now that are catching my fancy. Uh, like that covert sniper, I like that. Um, a lot I of like... good weapons in here. There's a lot of good weapons in here. I'm just watching the shop. If you're looking to trade, talk to the boss. Do you mind? I'm going to the bathroom. Let me look at your gun. I'll hold your gun while you're in the bathroom. You can't bring guns in the bathroom. It's not allowed. I'm the guard. I can do what I want. Nope. That's It's still not allowed to bring guns into the bathroom. Molan Lab. Uh, yeah, but you're not allowed to bring guns into the bathroom because Molan you could blow your brains Lab. out. Yeah, Molan Labia. Let me look at that gun. Thank you. That is a Benelli M3. That's what I thought. All right. Very good. Hello, my friend. I'm Danny, proprietor <gasps> of Danny's Look at Shop. Dinosaur. What can I do for you today? Oh, he's got a ship in a bottle! You got a lot of cool crap around here. Yeah, you do have a lot of really cool stuff. Where do you get it? Most of it comes from my business partners. Though a few of my offerings came to me by way of a trader here and there. We found some cigarettes. Have you seen these before? Hmm, maybe. I have only three regular customers who buy these cigarettes. One died a week back, the other's an 80-year-old lady, and the last is a young, fit man. I suppose that leaves only one suspect, huh? Tell us where we can find this old lady! Or, if it's the man, tell us where we can find the man. Hold on, friend. Danny doesn't do favors for every little pipsqueak that walks in through his front door. Hey, don't call me a pipsqueak. You do something for me, and I do something for you. Alright. This is how this will work. Whatever, I'm used to whoring myself out anyway. Well, I'm... <laughs> Glad you're ready to get started then. <laughs> what I require of you is nothing too complex. There is a man who owes me money. 500 caps to be exact. Shake down. All I need is for you to go speak to this man and retrieve my money. After that, I'll tell you where you can find your man. Do we have a deal? All you wanted us to do is shake a dude down? Motherfucker, why didn't you say so? You got a deal. Who am I looking for? A local. Perhaps you've even already met him. The man you're looking for is named Johnny Sims. Though most people refer to him as Old Fart. I could not think of a more fitting name. Mm. Oh, the, the, now go, my friend. I'm an honorable man. Get me my money, and I'll tell you where to find the man you're searching for. Oh, the bartender. Also, uh, let me look at your inventory. My weapons are top 
notch. You'll find very few their rival. I, a uh, Barrett M107 50 caliber sniper rifle. Okay. Um, well, it's kind of fun. A silenced SMG. <laughs> I kind of like how the little magazine sits on there. It's got a little tiny red dot sight. Yeah, it's kind of cool looking. It's got some rails on there for attaching stuff. Looks like you got a suppressor on the front. Mm -hmm. Little tiny red dot sight. Does look like the stock is adjustable, which is kind of neat. And a funny little snail mag sticking out the side of it. Yeah, that that is a weird magazine. Yeah, it's it's not uncommon though. There were a lot of early submachine guns that used a snail mag on the side. But they fell out of favor. Once box magazines kind of became the main thing, people didn't really use like those snail mags as much. Mm, are they prone to jamming? Uh, possibly. I think kind of the biggest problem is they take a long time to load, and you're better off just using box magazines. I think this would probably work okay. Welcome back. What can I get for you? Unfortunately, I'm here on Danny's behalf to retrieve the money you owe him. Shit, he's got you on my ass too, kid. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, but I don't have the money to spare. I'm barely keeping the saloon afloat as it is. Is there any way I could get you to pay the debt? Unless you want to pay it yourself, no, I'm sorry, kid. I just can't afford it right now. Let Danny know I'll get his money to him soon enough. Mmm, I don't think he's gonna like that. All right, Danny! Someone catch your fancy friend? Yeah, we got the money from him. Just like you asked. Ha! <laughs> I knew you had a face I could trust. Ah, truth be told, Johnny paid off his debt years ago. It's just that ghoul brain of his rotted away the memory of him paying it. I believe this is the third time I had him repay his debt. Wow. Oh, well. It's of no matter. Wow. You held up your end of the bargain, and I shall hold up mine. The man you seek operates under the name of Ethan. You'll find him hiding in a small watchtower just northwest of my shop. Actually, as a matter of fact, it's me he's hiding from. Wait, what? Did he take a sister from you too? What? <laughs> yeah, he goes around stealing everybody's sisters. You know, it's just this thing he does. Boys will be boys. He likes to stack them on top of each other like some kind of weird feminist Jenga. <laughs> Why is Ethan hiding from you? Also, can I have that rubber duck? Because he knows I'll kill him. Last time he was in the shop, he went and stole a crate of cams right from under my fucking nose. Of course, I could have Tommy or Billy kill him anytime I want. But I want the bastard to feel the fear before he dies. Quickly, slowly, loudly, quietly, it's all up to you. All I ask of you in return is his finger as proof of his Dang, death. Hey, why you want fingers of too? Course, you will be rewarded handsomely for this favor. Everybody wants fingers. I do not need a yes or no from you. If it's not you who kills him, it'll be someone else. I'm just giving you the first opportunity. How generous. Now go, friend. Find what you seek, and may good fortune follow you where you go. Okay, let's go talk to and or kill this man. I think we'll just kill him. You're Off right. we go to kill Ethan. Gonna shoot him with some silenced guns. Gonna shoot Ethan. Is that a fox? Oh my god, it's cute. Hello, fox. Hello, fox. Not as skittish as other foxes. You keep doing your foxy thing. 